get started in the music industry when I moved here from Pennsylvania. I was always uh, very shy about singing. I started working in a hip hop R&B group called Justice League. From then on, I did my first dance record with Sandy Rivera. Uh, Kings of Tomorrow, Low Down. We redid um, a Bob Skaggs classic. It's a, um, a disco song called Low Down. And I remember um, working with him and being very nervous because he had a hit record out at the time called uh, Finally. But it did really well and it opened up a lot of doors for me. You know, each record I did, it just made me more comfortable as a performer. But with dance music, it was more you know, producer driven. So as a vocalist, like you really have to work hard to get the, the credit you deserve. But I, the one thing I appreciate the most is the ability to just not care what happens on the stage in the sense that you let people go, you let go and people relate to that. That's what people relate to when they see that vulnerability and you, if you cry on stage, even if you fall on stage and you just keep going, they relate to that. The first time I went to a music conference, I actually performed after I was on uh, the Oprah Winfrey Show, Oprah Pop Star Challenge. I performed uh, Love Will Save the Day at the Winter Music Conference with um, Jelly Bean Benitez. Just being on that show was definitely the highlight of, uh, that's not even career, that's like life <laughs> meeting Oprah. Um, simply because of what she's accomplished as a female. It was very in influential for me because at that year, I was very frustrated as most artists get, you know, with singing, you know, and pursuing it and the disappointments that come with the career. At that time in my life, to have something like that happen was definitely a, a answer. Like, you shouldn't, don't give this up. Right now, my main focus has been my album. My album is called Element of Surprise and the reason why I named it that album is because I really I like to just do the work and then just kind of shock people with what comes out. Something it could be you know a rock edge and you know and, you know me playing a different instrument. It could be many things but I just like to keep certain things under wrap and just tease people a little bit about what's to come. 